the lost continent of Zealandia. Many people have accepted that there's only seven continents that exist on our planet, but there's really an eighth continent hiding two-thirds of a mile under the sea. Zealandia was only confirmed to be a new continent in 2016. However, in recent years, scientists have been able to carry out more research on this sunken landmass. By sending down deep water drills, researchers from the International Ocean Discovery Program were able to collect 8,200 feet of sediment to analyze. Using these samples, the research team was able to find out a lot of information regarding Zealandia's history over the last 70 million years. As they studied the fossil life in the sediment samples, researchers were able to put together a picture of the creatures that would have called Zealandia home. They also discovered that at one point, this continent existed above the waves. But why did it end up underwater? Around 40 to 50 million years ago, the Pacific Ring of Fire was formed. This dramatic-sounding natural phenomenon was situated at the edge of the Pacific Ocean and caused massive increases in volcanic activity and also contributed to a rise in sea level. These would have been the main reasons for Zealandia sinking, but many scientists think that this process would have started 40 million years earlier than the Pacific Ring of Fire. It would have started to lower and sink when the continent split from Australia and Antarctica 80 million years ago. Hopefully, this newly discovered continent can help scientists understand a variety of subjects. Not only does it rewrite the understanding of how certain species may have evolved, but using the geological data, we can also better understand the effects of climate change and other natural events such as tectonic plate movement. 7. The San Jose The ship known as the San Jose has been called the holy grail of shipwrecks and for very good reason. The 16th century warship was rediscovered off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia in 2015 by scientists from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. However, the find was so monumental that they had to keep the information secret for three years and it wasn't released to the public until 2018. They were waiting to get government approval since the ship's cargo would be worth over $17 billion today. The San Jose was part of a Spanish fleet making its way from Panama to Colombia. The vessel was full of gold, silver, and emeralds from the mines of Potosi in Peru. Unfortunately, the ship ended up getting into a battle with the British Navy on the way to its destination. During this time, the two countries were not on good terms, and they were in the midst of the War of the Spanish Succession. The British sank the San Jose on June 8, 1708 and neither side was able to recover any of the precious cargo before it slipped beneath the waves. This led to the loss of an incredible amount of gold and other valuable materials, and consequently, merchants both in Europe and the New World of the Americas faced financial hardships. Using an underwater machine called Rima 6000, scientists managed to capture images of the seabed where they believed the San Jose had capsized. The team discovered bronze cannons laying in the sand with dolphin motifs engraved on them, something the Spanish ship was known for. This allowed them to positively identify the shipwreck as the San Jose. Today, we know the general area where the ship was found, but its exact location is still under wraps to protect it from treasure seekers. Since the vessel's initial discovery, various governments have discussed what to do with the wealth the wreck provides. But, according to the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, the artifacts will be added to a museum in order to publicly display and preserve the San Jose's contents. 6. Thonis Heraklion Thonis Heraklion was an ancient city and was of great importance to the Egyptian people. At one time, it was the main port of entry into Egypt by sea for people coming from Greek waters up until 331 BC, when the city of Alexandria was founded. However, even though it's considered to be one of the most notable ancient civilizations, Thonis Heraklion wasn't really known at all by historians. The only records left of this city were uncovered in rare archaeological finds, or it was referenced in classical texts. Any mentions of the place are few and far between, leading many to speculate that the city was, in fact, a mythical location. In 2000, researchers from the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology IEASM, led by Frank Godio, made a breakthrough. Not only were they able to find astounding artifacts, including grand statues and evidence of the infamous Temple of Amun, but they were also able to solve another mystery. It was previously believed that Thonis and Heraklion were two different cities, but what Godio and his team discovered was that they were actually the same place. 
We now know that this ancient city was a bustling port, with many anchors being uncovered as well as evidence of 79 shipwrecks. Thonis Heraklion was a place of trade and commerce, with coins and currency being unearthed from the seabed. In addition, the city was a location of spiritual importance, being home to the Temple of Amun and the Temple of Hercules. The ceremony dedicated to the rebirth of Osiris, one of the main gods in the Egyptian pantheon, was also celebrated here. The site is found off of Abukir Bay in Egypt, around four miles from the shore. At the moment, there's no way to know for sure why Thonis Heraklion ended up a sunken city, but many believe it was due to a catastrophic natural event. We may, in time, be able to find out the true reasons, but it's been 22 years since its initial discovery, and experts have only managed to survey around 5% of the city. 5. Bimini Road Bimini Road is located in the Bahamas and can be seen under the water as a formation of rectangular limestone blocks, which has led many to theorize about its origins. Found just off the coast of North Bimini Island, the road stretches for about half a mile. The blocks that make up the road are between 10 and 13 feet long and would have originally been cut into rectangular shapes, although their edges have since been rounded by the water. The road ends in a swirling hook formation of stones, and there's evidence of smaller, shorter roads nearby. It was so well built that when it was discovered in 1968 by archaeologists Joseph Manson Valentine, Jacques Mayol, and Robert Angove, they originally thought it was one long joined stone pavement. It was only upon closer inspection that they were able to confirm that it was made of smaller slabs of limestone laid next to each other. Due to the construction and layout of Bimini Road, it seemed unlikely that it was part of a natural phenomenon, which led to the theory that it was man-made, but who exactly had constructed it? Many people believe that Bimini Road is the real path to Atlantis, the mythical city that sang beneath the waves and is featured in many tales and legends. In 1938, the American mystic Edgar Case also prophesied 30 years before its discovery that a road to Atlantis would be found. Case was rather specific in his prediction in not only the year but also the location of the ruins. He stated that Atlantis would be discovered under the slime of ages and seawater near Bimini, and that this would happen in 68 or 69. In contrast to Case's belief, carbon dating in recent years seems to suggest that the limestone is just part of a natural formation, and no other artifacts other than the road have been unearthed from the seabed. Do you think Bimini Road is evidence of Atlantis or a natural phenomenon? Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 4. Adlib Yam On the Carmel coastline of Israel, archaeologists made a groundbreaking underwater discovery of a Neolithic settlement called Adlib Yam. The architecture and structures that can be found at the sunken village have been dated to be between 8,900 and 8,300 years old. Researchers were able to estimate the age of the site using radiocarbon dating technologies. According to historians that explored the site, the people that lived at Adlib Yam weren't all that primitive. They discovered foundations of rectangular buildings, stone walls, paved areas, and wells dug into the ground. It's likely that the residents who once lived here kept domestic animals for food, as there was evidence of remains of sheep, pigs, cattle, and even dogs. This wouldn't have been their only food source, though, especially since Adlib Yam would have been close to the sea when it was above water. Over 6,000 fish bones were also found at the site, with many of them belonging to the grey triggerfish. Researchers discovered 65 human remains, and four of them showed evidence of a condition called auditory exostosis, which is mainly caused by diving in cold water. This suggests that the settlers would have dived for the fish in order to catch them. It's also likely that the people who lived here farmed crops since domesticated versions of grain such as wheat, barley, lentils, and flax were also discovered. With all of this taken into consideration, archaeologists believe that Adli Yam is the earliest example of such a settlement ever seen before on the Levantine coast. 3. C-130 Hercules a new dive site in Akaba, Jordan, located on the Red Sea, will allow divers to find a treasure trove of rare and unusual vehicles sitting on the seafloor. One of the attractions that can be found here is a massive Lockheed C-130 Hercules transport plane. The aircraft measures 98 feet long and has a wingspan of 131 feet, so it's not exactly a small find on the seabed. 
The Hercules is also resting at a shallow depth of 52 feet under the water, and thanks to the visibility of the Red Sea, it can easily be seen from the surface. But why is the plane here in the first place? The C-130 was intentionally sunk on November 16, 2017 with various government officials in attendance. The aircraft was part of a plan to form a new artificial reef in Akaba, not only to increase tourism in the area, but also to promote the growth of local marine life as well. Divers that visit the site can swim around the massive frame of the aircraft and move through its cavernous cargo hold. Many scuba divers find the sight of a plane under the water to be incredibly surreal, especially one as big as the C-130 Hercules. Some have even straddled the nose of the aircraft to truly understand just how small they are in comparison. Visitors that are brave enough to swim inside the aircraft can also take pictures with the pilot, a fake skeleton dressed in a uniform that's been placed at the controls. 2. MV Hephaestus The MV Hephaestus was an oil tanker that was registered to the West African nation of Togo. The vessel measured 196 feet in length and was sailing near the Maltese island of Gozo when a storm started to roll in. The captain decided that he and his crew would drop anchor and try to wait out the storm before continuing on their journey. However, this decision would prove costly, as the storm was not only intense, but MV Hephaestus had also been suffering from engine problems before she encountered the bad weather. On February 10, 2018, the force of the storm began to move the oil tanker closer and closer to shore. Due to the small amount of power left in the engine, the crew could do little to battle against the currents until, eventually, it ran aground on the rocks near Isika Ibajda. Thankfully, the crew was unharmed from the collision, and the ship wasn't carrying any cargo at the time, so an environmental tragedy such as an oil spill was avoided. Six months later, after some essential repairs were made to the ship in order to keep it afloat, two tugboats managed to escort MV Hephaestus to the master shipyard on August 15th. Once the vessel arrived at its destination, the full scale of the damage could be assessed. Unfortunately for the owners of the ship, the repairs would be far too expensive, and so the decision was made that she would be scuttled. After being painstakingly cleaned and prepared to be sunk, on August 19, 2022, MV Hephaestus would make her final journey to zat e amar The ship now lies upright on the seabed and is a popular spot with divers exploring the area. 1. HMS Stubborn HMS Stubborn is a wrecked submarine that can be found on the seafloor about two miles away from Quara Point in Malta. The S-Class submarine was launched on November 11, 1942, entering service for the British Royal Navy in the midst of the Second World War. HMS Stubborn was large, highly armored, and powerful, so she was considered the top of her fleet, many of which were built during the 1930s. She was equipped with 13 torpedoes, with each one weighing over 3,500 pounds, measuring 21 feet long and delivering a massive 750-pound payload of explosives. HMS Stubborn mainly patrolled the waters off the coast of Scandinavia, although she also served in the Pacific Far East during the war. Her military career was not without its challenges, and she did take a number of hits leading to considerable damage. However, this wasn't enough to beat the submarine, and she made it through to the end of the war. HMS Stubborn was purposefully scuttled by the British Royal Navy to be used as sonar practice for other submarines a year after the Second World War ended on April 30, 1946. She now lies 1.8 miles off the shore of St. Paul's Bay in Malta, at a depth of 187 feet. Which one of these underwater discoveries fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!